If you want to build your own Hearthstone deck, the first step you need to do is choose your class and put in your win conditions. Your win condition is how your deck is going to win against other decks. And it's different for each deck. For some decks, it's a specific combo and cards. Other decks, it's using low cost cards to win in a quick burst against your opponent. After all, if you don't put cards in your deck that make you win, then you, you can't win. They're not stupid, why would you say- Please ignore the stupidity of past Chow Pao there, but if you want to know the current Chow Pao, I make fun Hearthstone videos and guides on YouTube. I'm looking just to spread the love around the community and just have fun playing the game we all love. So, if you're interested in having a good time chilling around and playing Hearthstone, then why not subscribe, because that's what we do here. Speaking of having a good time, I'm making a new deck right now. Following step 1, my win condition will primarily be Nazoth for this Druid deck, other ways I can win will also be constant damage from tempo I can play from my minions. So, now that I've got the first step out of the way, I'm going to share with you 5 more tips to help you create your own deck. Starting with step 2, which is to determine the deck type of your deck. The 3 main deck types are aggro, midrange, and control, which I explain in this video right here. I highly recommend you watch that one first, because if you don't, you might not know what I'm talking about in the rest of this video. To determine what deck type you should be building, think what deck archetype will best support the win condition I want? If your win condition is to outlast your opponent and then play something big at the end like a Thune, then you would be a control deck. If you want to burst down your opponent quickly with cheap cards and damage dealing spells, then it would be an aggro deck. And if you're like me and you want to go in between those two and win with constant pressure and board, then you want to play midrange. After you decide your deck archetype, then you can put in cards that will help you achieve that deck archetype and achieve your win condition. For me, that means I need good value minions and tribal tags to help activate my Nazoth. Knowing this, I'm going to put in some good value beasts, elementals, and dragons in there. You can also add packages, or cards which synergize well with each other. For example, you can add cards which work well with soul fragments, cards which rely on beasts, all of that stuff. The list is endless. Just note that these first three steps don't necessarily have to be in that order. You can decide to make a control deck first, then choose your classes and win conditions and all of that after. Or maybe you want to put a really specific package in your deck, but that package won't necessarily win you the game. So you can put those in first and then choose your win conditions and deck archetypes after. If you follow this guide, you're going to learn how to make a deck, but it's not a hard set order. You can do anything that fits you the most. After you finish these first three steps, you're going to need to review your deck and put things that are needed. Your deck might be already full by now, it might not be, and if it is, you gotta take out stuff that you might have extra of. Though it's different for each deck, you're gonna look through anything that's missing or any weaknesses in the deck. The general things you can look for is card draw, maybe AoE and single target removal, but for each deck archetype, there's several questions you're going to need to ask yourself. For aggro, you want to ask yourself, is there any ending burst damage that you can put in that will get the last bits of damage in to get your opponent down to zero? Do you need any specific tech cards like silence to edge out games, or will your deck be less consistent if you put those tech cards in? For midrange decks, you can ask yourself, do you have a curve where you can play a good card each turn, or do you have some big effect which will provide enough value to win the game? And, depending on the midrange deck, you might want to ask yourself, is there some value cards that will generate more cards that will help you fight for the board more? For control decks, ask yourself, am I going to survive against aggro decks, or do I need more healing, or do I have too much healing? Do I have lots of removal and value cards which will help me outlast the opponent? And if I run into another control deck, how do I win against that control deck? For my mid-range druid deck, I don't like how I don't have cards early in the game to play, but I also know that it's druid, so I can possibly cheat out some mana early. So I'm putting in Speaker Ghidra, Ghidra, Gaidra, I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm not gonna lie, Mancrick, and Lunar Eclipse just to see how that works. After you have asked yourself these general questions, the real test moves on and you move on to step 5, which is to play test your deck. When you play test your deck, that's when you find out what's good and what's bad in the deck, the strengths and the weaknesses. Note what cards are sitting dead in your hand for most of the game and consider taking them out. And note some good cards in your deck and maybe put in cards that are similar like that depending on the card. But don't do this. All right, I've just finished my first game and this card did nothing, so I'm just gonna take it out right away. There is no reason to just take out a card the moment it doesn't work for you. Unless you know it's really bad. And I mean, really, really, really bad. Then sure, take it out. I'm not your mom, what are you gonna do? But play around with it for a bit and maybe you'll be the next person to break the meta. After you've tested out your deck, it's time to move on to this step, which is to make adjustments. 
For me, I've noticed that sometimes the Lunar Eclipse is just a 2 mana deal 3, which sure isn't that bad, but I want to do more with it, so maybe I should put in cards that will help it out. Or I can just take it out. Sometimes though, Lunar Eclipse does really well for me, so I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I've also noticed that the first few turns I can't consistently play minions, so I might want to add cheaper cards like South Sea Scoundrel to the deck. Now that you've made and altered your own deck, be free and do whatever you want to do with your decks. I don't know what I'm going to say here, I'm not going to lie. What I'm If this video helped you, why not subscribe because I've got lots of Hearthstone guides on my channel and more to come. I've also got lots of fun Hearthstone decks that you can try right here, so if you're looking for something fresh to play, you should check out this playlist right here. Maybe my Druid deck will be on that playlist next, huh? Huh? Huh?